having a workout calendar where you can generate your own programs, monitor your training, and look at each training session on your phone is something I've been playing around with in Notion. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. A quick disclaimer at the beginning of the video, this is a bare bones structure, so I thought I'd take my strength and conditioning template from Excel and try and recreate it in Notion. And this is what I came up with in an hour's brainstorm and I'm open to all ideas. So to start with, what I've got is a simple database in a calendar view that has been filtered by the person. So person one, person two, and person three. This means person one's workout will show person two or person three, depending on where you set the filter. Then we have a similar setup with the tracking down the bottom of the page where we have filters for person one, two, and three. Then it's just showing the tonnage of the workout, the load of the workout, and then any rating, however you want to create that rating. Then we have the training log, which is where the workouts are actually shown. And as you can see, the data on this workout was yesterday, so it's only going to show the workout that was yesterday, hence test before. So the exercise list database actually helps build up the program. I put some filler data in here, but you could name whatever exercise it is. You could have thousands of exercises in here. I've just put description and critical points because I imagine there'd be notes that people would want if they're not sure about things. Maybe have a video explanation of what the lift or things look like. And of course, you can add any other property to each individual exercise if you want your client or yourself or any notes to be kept specific for that exercise. That means whenever you access the workout, if you need to look at the notes for the specific exercise, they're freely available, which I'll show you in a minute. To add an exercise, you can just go down the bottom of the database, add in whatever the exercise name is and any other data that you deem relevant. Now going back to the main template, we're going to go into the warm-up area. This essentially is the same as the exercise page. I've put time as just an example. You could group different exercises, different mobility exercises, dynamic stretches, all within one warm-up, or you could just have warm-up exercises at the side. It's entirely up to you. Again, any feedback is welcomed and please put it in the comment section below. So when we go into the training log, which is where most of the time would be spent, it actually shows those exercises and all the reps and sets and intensity in that gallery view. So you can see this training log is specific to person one and we're only showing yesterday's workout. If for example, we came in today and we didn't know what our workout was, we could click new, go down to new day person one, and this automatically puts today's date in there and it filters the workout into person one and makes sure that it is today's workout. So we've now got person one test rather than before or after. So we now have two different training logs. You could filter that so you only want to see today's log and change the formatting of the page however you want. This is just an example. If we now change the filter on the calendar to person two, I don't actually have any workouts for person two, so it's not going to show any. And for person three, I created a workout for demonstration purposes. To change the day of the workout and when they're going to show up in that training log, all you need to do is just drag the workout across and it will change the date automatically. If the format of the workout is going to stay pretty consistent, what you can do is just duplicate the workout and then drag the copy to whatever day you want it to be done. And you can do that as many times as you want for whatever workout. Now when you're actually creating a workout, this is the page you'll see. You've got your warm-up relation, which relates back to that warm-up database that we had. Then we have five different exercise relations, which goes to the exercise database that we've got. Then we have all these sets, reps, and intensity, which you can put in and change because they're just number boxes, so you can put in however many you want. As a little bit of feedback, I've actually put in SRPE and duration as a monitor of load, which you will have seen in the tracking database, which I showed earlier, and I'll show a little bit more later on. And because of the way Notion works, you can actually share this with other people. So I have a placeholder and just have a select column in there for person one, two, and three. But when you are actually working with other people or you want other people to work with you, you can actually have their profiles in there. In this case, I'm the only person in the workspace, so I'm the only person I can select. Then below that are the formulas that actually make the other views a little bit more aesthetic and easier to read than this long list of things. Because these are formulas, you can calculate whatever number you want, create the ratings however you want, it's entirely up to you, but these are some examples that I did. Because these are formulas, you can calculate whatever number you want, use whatever maths you want. I've just created tonnage from simply going sets times reps times intensity and then created load from the SRP in duration. So to add a completely new workout, all you'd need to do is just go to the plus button at the top of the calendar. The warm-up box is a relation, so it will come up with a list of all those warm-ups, but if that list is really long, like in the exercises, you can just search it up. Then you can push the add button to actually put it into the workout. So here we've got a long list of all the exercises, so we can start searching in leg two. There it is, and push it in. Then we can put in our sets, reps, and intensity. So maybe leg two was a squat, so three by five, 100 kilos.
And as we scroll down, the formulas actually created that exercise. And you can see the tonnage is starting to work, and then all the other formulas are also starting to work. That view is accessible in the training log, so if we go back to the training log and click on the program, you can then go into each exercise on the warm-up and it will show you all the data related. So the description, the critical points. So if anyone needs any feedback or understanding of what an exercise is, they can just click on the program, click on the exercise, and it will tell them what they need to know. When we go down to tracking, I filtered it with people again. The formula for load is fairly simple, it's just SRPE times duration. The tonnage is a little bit more complicated, you just need to change the format of some of the cells and then add all of the things together. Then for the first rating, is all I've asked is that if load is bigger than zero, if it is, put a tick, if it's not, don't. So this could identify if the person actually turned up or not, because if it's zero then they didn't do anything, or they didn't track anything. And then the other rating is a little bit more specific, so if the load is over 200, put green, if it's not, put red. So you can start measuring up what a good session is, what a not so good session is, and you can put as many things in there as you want, depending on what formula you put in. And one of the great features about Notion is you can actually use it on your phone. So if we go onto the phone, and whatever I change on my phone actually changes on the computer. So I've changed session RPE from 4 to 7. So we're going to go onto the training log from the computer, Scroll down and you can see session RP has been changed from 4 to 7. I've also created a workout template for Notion, so if that's something you're interested in, check out this video over here. I'll see you there.